How you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. Well, today we're doing something nasty dirty that all pond owners hate doing each and every year, but it is a necessary part of getting your pond ready for the season. With that being said, you can see I've been scraping out muck and dirt and nastiness from the pond. Over the course of every winter, you get all this nasty algae, string algae, that essentially grows in your pond. Now, we don't like to deal with this, so what we're going to do today is go ahead and drain the pond. You can see over there, I've got my little mini pressure washer. We're gonna pressure wash each and every rock in here and drain all, all the water. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the, the pump for this waterfall. We already cleaned the intake for the, the waterfall because this was barely rolling throughout the winter. Sucked up so much dirt and debris. So we went ahead and got that fixed. Now this upward bog, I'm going to leave all the algae in it because the theory on this is if you leave the algae up here, it's gonna pull out all the nutrients for the algae to survive down here and all last year we didn't have no string algae all throughout here we didn't have to use no chemicals no nothing so we're going to test that theory out again this year and hopefully it works so to make this all work i went ahead went and back i got my big old pump with the two inch hose on it i had to get out uh, my 180 gallon stock tank so i can transplant the fish from the pond as I'm draining it, give them somewhere to stay while I'm cleaning the pond because I'm essentially gonna suck all this water out while it's draining. I'm gonna also get in there and pressure wash and clean all the rocks. So this whole pond is gonna get a full 100% makeover today. And the pump is on and flowing. Give it just a second, oh, there we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill this tub up and then I can start catching fish. Well, as the pond's draining, of course. So just like that, the tub is full. Now what I'm gonna do is take this hose and bring it all the way down the driveway. So for one, all this runoff water is not going back into the pond because it is sloped that way. So now I have it going down the driveway. It's gonna run out there to the drains at the end of the driveway essentially draining this pond. It probably filled up this tub in just under a minute and a half. So the tub or the pond should not take that long to drain out, but it will, however, take some time. So I'm gonna go and uh, get some other work done while this starts draining, because there's no way I'm gonna catch these fish right now. I'm gonna wait till it drains out a little bit and uh, we'll go from there. All right, he's already got the pond about halfway full. It's down past this. Look at all that muck. This here is retaining water, so there's some fish up here yet, and so is that up there. But we're going to have to clean all that anyway, so it's a nasty, dirty mess under here. They said, get a pond, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well, look how much leaves and just gunk built up on that. And, and algae. Ugh. It's only been one season and the bridge needs to be painted already. And we don't even walk on it. Alright, Josh, you getting ready to pressure wash? So here we are guys, you can see 
that's what the pond used to look like. Now this is what the rocks look like after cleaning a bunch of the algae. My dad still has the pump pumping up to the waterfall, cleaning all the debris, getting over to him. He's over there catching fish and getting muck out the pond while I'm pressure washing. How you like your job over there, Dad? This job sucks. <laughs> Get a pond, they said. It'll be fun. <laughs> so there we are. There's a few fish left in here that he's trying to get out, and then the rest is just muck, oh, and I'm working my way to that side of the pond. Okay, we're finishing up here. You can see up here, he got all this done. Now the water's lower. He's getting all this off the rocks here. Look how what a difference that makes. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what it can look, look like. All right. Go through the middle of that green up there, and let's see how it... There you go. That's what pressure washing your uh, pond will do for you. Bring it back to like when it was new. Now we've got all that done over there, the waterfalls uh, on the other side of the bridge and this side here. We're gonna leave that little troughway right there covered in moss so it don't show the liner like it was. But all the rest of the rocks we're cleaning up. We're now almost down to the water level all the way around. He's got this side done. He's doing that side over there, and then we'll be down to the water level, which is only about, if you can see his feet, only about five inches left. We've got a lot of the goldfish out of here. They're over here. And there's still more under there, but as the water gets lower, we will find them and get the rest of the crud out of the bottom. That is our last step. Then we can fill it back up. Okay, we're almost done here. We've got everything clean all the way around. Josh is doing the last little bit now. We got a little bit, and you got to now take and scrape this with your hands all the way to the end. Get the rest of the leaves out, and uh, then we will be done. This is the fish that we found in this pond. There's actually a couple koi in here, but there's a bunch of fish in here. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to get you out of the net. Oh, some big boys. There you go. And then we, this is a 55 gallon or 45 gallon garbage can. It's almost full. Too heavy to lift. All wet, wet leaves. Got a little bit left to clean. We're done. All right, we are done. Josh did a hell of a job, or a heck of a job, inside of this. We cleaned out the waterfalls, we cleaned out the little pond area, and now we cleaned out the big section. Um, everything is algae-free and ready to fill back up. What do you think, Josh? Terrible. Next time we pay somebody to do it? Yep. <laughs> okay, well, this is full, and... Uh, we got a bunch of plants that actually made it through the, the winter and they're starting to regrow back. See the growth there? And them are tubers. And then this is all growing back. That one's growing back right there. Um, they all lived. So we're not going to take plants out of here next year. We kept a bunch and put them out back. So now we're going to run the hose and start filling this up. All right. So here the pond is filled back up. As you guys can see, a world of difference. You can see that over here, of course, the water falls back in all of its glory. You can actually see all the rocks on the bottom. You can see there's plants starting to cook them up there. So everything's waking up. We got this waterfall back to flowing pretty great. Over here, I still got a little cleaning up to, to do here. I couldn't really do too much with the pressure washer, but down here is where you see the world of difference. You can see all them stones down in the deep section, down there against the whole back wall. Now it actually looks like a pond again. So it rained this morning, so there's a little bit of mud in the water. So give it a day or so and it'll be absolutely crystal clear once again. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the nasty pond cleaning with the Ohio Fish Rescue. If you guys want to see more crazy adventures with us, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay fishy, my friends.